let's start with the coding part in the last video we understand like uh, what is the basic concept of the image processing and the basic concept of the uh, how the machine is going to understand when you insert the image into the machine so that's how like so i think we have an overall view on uh, on a high level and then now we are diving into the deep so first for that we are now understanding the back end process of like back end process we already understand the back end process in a theoretical way but let's understand the coding way so for that first we need to make sure you have everything like this is the main thing so i already typed every code here i'm going to explain like each and everything all the way you need to understand is the logic not the coding coding is easy i can say because whenever you google it everything is available in the google so you don't want to make your ha make your mind stressed to remember this line this line this line like that because you, all the way you need to remember is the logic so logic is the more, most important thing in the coding being a coder you need to follow this that so first i'm trying to uncomment that control k u is the, is the shortcut to uncomment all so now i'm going to start it and here it is showing i'm trying to check i'm trying to check the version of the cv2 and whether the Py, Py, i mean uh, pytorch is there or not so this the first output is the uh, cv2 version and now it is saying that cv2 module is there it is successfully installed and it's working and this is the version of the cv2 now uh, here it is saying 1.13.1 plus cpu it means that your pytorch is also available with this version and that is running on that running using the cpu not like the cuda or the gpu i mean if you are aware of that cuda gpu then just start investigating uh, what is that and gain some good knowledge on that but if you're not aware of just keep it aside we'll discuss it in some some video or anytime so right now uh my first code is here um i just i'm just trying to import the cv2 and trying to import the pytorch module so the for the python Py, pytorch you need to um the shortcut for importing the torch module is uh, pytorch module is import torch and i'm just trying to print uh, the version of the cv2 and the torch version the at the end uh, if name w equals to main then sys dot exit of int of main it means that so uh, if if the above statement here i'm calling the main statement right so first it will start um, first it will start the main function so whenever you run this program it will start executing this and with that it will start uh, executing the main function first then if the value of the main is mm, i mean if the if the main if the main is not executing properly if there is any bug it will uh, return and then it will start showing the error otherwise well i'm good i mean it means that you are good to go for next program now so i think this is the code only for checking uh, importing the cv2 and torch and checking the cv2 and torch versions so in a simple point i can say if you are seeing the versions it means the code is done your task is done i can say so to comment it select the lines and then control k c is the line is a shortcut to, co to comment all the lines wherever you want so now we are entering into the brightness of the image how to increase the brightness of the image so now we are trying to code for that so i think everybody is interested and curious to go forward right let's go for brightness of the image okay so to comment to uncomment control k u sorry control k u is the command to uncomment next here before running this program so now the previous one is in comment position so this is the code for the brightness of the image so here what is the main logic for the brightness of the image we already discussed right the main logic for the brightness of the image is 
the formula is g of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y plus beta or beta. So what do you mean by beta here? It means brightness. So whatever the value that you are providing for the beta, then the value is going to be added with the existing pixel, then the end result is going to be like this. And we already know the logic, right? I already explained in the last video. You can just see the video. If you're not had seen that video, then see the first video and come back to this video. Then you will get to know what's going on here and what I'm trying to say here. Then let's get back to this. Yeah, so here the brightness of the image is, um, first I'm trying to import the CVT module and you know, guys, you already have it of like all the imports, right? This is the system, there is the CV2. And you know, one of the one of the library that I'm using is matplotlib.pyplotspl. It means that uh, this is the library that we are using for the graphical representations or something else. I mean, we, we are using for the representations, I can say. And then um, the one of the other library is uh, NumPy because uh, as I said, everything whenever it whenever the image is raining the image is going to be rated as a number as as i said the image is rated as a number so whenever the image is inserted the machine is going to divide it uh, divide the image into some kind of small boxes blocks i can say so the, for the each and every block it is going to allocate some value it's not like a random value it's like whatever the color whatever the uh, color that is present or the in, inside the block then uh, based on that some value will be allocated, in, allocated for that particular uh, block. So that's how it is. So here, the first thing what I'm trying to do, um, here I'm calling the main function. Inside the main function, first I'm trying to take one variable, image file name. So this is my image, okay? I'm, I'm providing the image path here. Then I'm trying to read this image using the CV2 library. CV2 library using CV2 library, I'm trying to read this image. So whatever the path that I provided here for that variable, that variable I'm calling it here. So now IMG holds the image. I mean, now the value of the IMG is nothing but it was, it was going to print it in a NumPy array. It means, so, uh, here we are seeing in this presentation, we already saw that, right? Like each and every block, like some values. So it, it's going to be reading, read it as some numbers in a numerical way. Now, it's basically in the high level, I can say cv2.im read is going to be used as uh, used for a uh, reading an image. Done. So the machine is going to read the image. It is done. Then here we write a condition like if image is none, if I didn't provide any path, it means that uh, if this condition is passed, then print could not open or find the image. So if the path is not found, then it is going to say that, okay, the image is not, there, there's no image to read. So that's why I just make this condition true and then execute this one and then exit with zero. It means that if something goes wrong or if, some, if, if everything is done, then you can, then it will start executing with code called zero. So if the code is zero, then the entire fun entire program is going to stop. That's how it is. Next, next, the thing is now we are here. We are trying to uh, print the data type of the image. What is the other way uh, to check the type of type for the variable? Type of, and then we can write the variable name. But here it's the other ways. Image dot d type is nothing but the output is going to be u int h. It means uniform integers. Then I'm going to explain you like what do you mean by u int eight. Uh, you can try to Google it. You can or you can try to Google it and uh, Google it about what you mean. What is the full form of uh, u int eight? Then, as I said, uh, in the formula g of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y plus um, a beta. So what do you mean by beta? Beta is nothing but uh, the brightness, right? So for that, so in, in that scenario, in that, in that formula, what we need to do, we need to implement, we need to start with allocating the variable called beta. Then start, uh, I mean, we are trying to provide the integer number, right? For the beta. 
So that's why I'm providing the int, input, enter the brightness value. It means that it will pop you up with some, uh, it, by asking the enter brightness value, then we need to provide some brightness value over there. Then here, you can observe a B underscore image is one of the other variable. And this is the brightness of the image is equals to brightness, brighten image, image comma beta. It means that the Im image refers to this one. It, it means uh, the image is already read and stored it in one variable called IMG. And that IMG, we are using it here. For that image, we are also providing the value of beta. So whatever the value that you pro that you're providing, for the brightness so that value it is going to take it here that call you that value is going to be referred as beta yeah so now when the here this is not this is not a built-in function this is a function that we have that we've written here let me explain you that to brighten underscore image is nothing but we declared a function uh, in that we are uh, passing a parameter called IMG and the other parameter called beta. Here, brighten image is equals to what, what it is going to do is, uh, as we know that whatever the image that we insert, that is f of x comma y, then we, at the end, once the values are added, once the values are, values are summed up and then uh, we are storing it into one variable, that variable is called as g of x comma y, just like that. So here we are creating, what we are creating? Here we are creating a variable brightened image that is uh, like that is like a stored. Uh, we are trying to store the image store the image in this and with based on the matrices matrices. How we can say how to explain here is let's say I take an image four by four image, okay? Let's say the image is uh, image size is four by four. So at the end, what I can do is I can start, I can start taking the same size with zero values. Okay, let's explain that example here. Let's say I take in a four by four, or oh, this is some value, this is some value, and this is some value, this is some value. Let's say these are four, I mean two by two matrix. Let's say two by two matrix. In that two by two matrix. When I try to add some values and uh, store the store it in one variable, then at the end the end result image size is also same, right? Must be same. It sh it, it should not increase any size. If it is increasing somewhere, then you are something you are wrong. So for brightening the image, our goal is to brighten the image, not like uh, bring some extra space or some. I mean, uh, recover the space or something like that. It's like only the brightening the image. So for that, I can say here we let's say there's a two by two matrix. Let's say two by the, I, this is the image with two by two matrix. The end result image should also be a two by two matrix, right? It's not. It it it, it should not exceed the two by two matrix and decrease the two by two matrix. It, the whatever the size of the input image that you're in, inserting, the output image is also should be same. That's how I'm trying to say right now. So. Here, uh, we uh, as uh, I mean uh, with the same example, I can say uh, there was some. Let's say we don't know about the brightness. I mean the shape of the image that we are inserting. That's why 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 uh, what is the simplest way that we are using is image dot shape. So whatever the image that we are inserted, this is the image. So IMG is the image where we are storing the values in the numerical way and in the, in the numpy way then that kind of stuff is uh, we are trying to put it in a shape. I mean, for that image, whatever the shape it is holding uh, with the existing image. So the same with the same shape, we are trying to allocate and with the same data type too. Whatever the data type that it is holding, the existing image, the same data type we are creating some duplicate one, uh, like some um, sample, like shadow one, and we are making all the values as zero initially just for initially okay understand just for initial way uh, we are just making it as zero for all the values it means let's say here this is the stuff right whenever uh, the, uh, according to that line whatever the line that we are seeing it will start allocating all the blocks start creating all the blocks with zero it means all the blocks with black zero 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 zero, zero, zero all 
that's it because once everything is allocated like that once everything is allocated like that then it will start calculating the, with the different things here y in x y in range of image of zero then x in range of uh, image dot shape one and what is that what is this stuff then this stuff represents the first thing represents shape of zero represents the rows the shape one represents the column then the third one represents the colors as i said the image is going to be uh, calculated in three ways i mean in three different colors one is red one is green one is blue rgb in that way i can say the brightness of the image whatever the uh, uh, the shadow image the shadow i mean whatever the shadow one that we created with the uh, values of zeros with the same uh, image size and i mean image shape and image data type for that each and every value should be calculated with this logic i think hope uh, if you are already aware of the coding part then you can easily understand this kind of uh, this stuff here here what is the formula that we need to do for brightness for brightness the formula is g of f g of x comma y is equals to f of x comma y plus beta so that's the formula so here i wrote that formula here bright an image of y x c is equals to y represents the rows x represents the columns and c represents the filter that you are using let's say if you are in the first filter let's say that is a right then based on that you will start allocating the values and dump it into the one so now brighten image y x c is equals to np dot clip we are why we are using the np dot clip the logic here is as we already discussed in the last video if the output is exceeding the 255 then it should it should revert back it, it should return the value we should return with a value called 255 that's what it is so np dot clip of image of then what then we are we are trying to write the formula here image of y x c is nothing but f of x comma y so this is nothing but g of x comma y understand this carefully this is nothing but g of x comma y and uh, then this is nothing but f of x comma y plus the beta the same formula that i'm doing nothing i'm not creating anything uh, different just trying to dedicate the g of x comma y is bright and image y x c and the f of x comma y is image of x comma image of y x c plus brightness don't think in a complicated way don't think in a different different i know you are uh, you guys are getting so many questions but still i can say just understand how much ever you are how much ever you are digesting just understand that then the remaining part go with the flow that's it even i learned in that way that's why i'm trying to uh, suggest for everyone so image of y x c plus beta then what we are trying to do 0 to 255 it means that if the values are 0 to 255 that reminds him if the values are more than 255 then it will never goes back to the i mean it will never goes back to the original value if, if the value is exceeding 255 then it will end up with 255 done done no matter whatever the value that we are getting over there then finally we are trying to return the g of x comma y it's nothing but bright an image whatever the values that we are doing it here and we are providing here the same thing we are trying to print it okay so at the end we are getting the bright and image so where we are in now bright and image when the main function we got a bright and image so brightness of the image is done now b underscore image is nothing but brightness of image so whatever the beta value that you provided based on that it will it will, it will start adding our summation i started doing summation with that existing existing pixel then stored it in one variable called bright end image so here what is the first thing i mean how can you identify that either the image is bright and or not in the coding right so for that what i'm trying to do this is this is just a kind of enhancement that i am showing you cb2 dot image show is a image image im show is nothing but image show it's a it's a built-in q 
keyword that we have it in the CV2 library. Okay, then here we are trying to show the we are trying to showcase the virtual image. The IMG is nothing but whatever the image that we inserted, and here the same thing with the same code. Here, this is nothing but brightened image, it's nothing but uh, whatever the image that we that whatever the beta value that we provided over there, whatever the calculation that comes out based on that, it will reform it and st start popping up the image. So, that kind of image, so like let's say the brightened image is here, is in B underscore image. So, we are trying to see the both virginal image and brightened image here. Then I provided the weight key. After that, after that, I provided the histogram computa computation, compute histogram. It means that whatever the values that we, uh, that I mean, whatever the numerical values that machine learned based on that, estimate, I mean, uh, based on that, it will show you the graphical presentation, graphical representation as a histogram. I think everybody knows like what do you mean by histogram, right? So it will start showing the graphical representation in uh, for uh, image that we have it and whatever the bright bright and image that we uh, we got it. So for that also, it will take it will start reading the values and based on that it will start showing the um, what you, what you can say it will start showing the. Well, I mean, the graphical representation for the bright image. Then next, we are trying to compare the histogram. So let me just explain you what do you mean by the histogram, complete histogram. Histogram, we already know, we, already, we are already aware of uh, this, the high level, right? Just like uh, it, whatever the machine reads, whatever the image that we inserted, whatever the values are, uh, the numerical values that machine understands, based on that, it will pop you up the, pop up the, uh, rep some graphical representation for that compute histogram is here. The function that I wrote here is computing to histogram, assuming grayscale image with one channel. And for this, we are trying to assume we are trying to compute the histogram by using only one channel that is grayscale. Okay, so here, uh, same as it is, just just like that. Uh, history is equal to 10p dot zeros of. Uh, 256 comma eight. Then, uh, I mean the whatever. I mean we we want only uh, till zero to 255, right? So how many values in between the zero to 255? Two overall 256. That's why I'm taking the number of zeros, np dot zeros of 256, and that is going to be in. So whatever the values that machine is reading, that is in in mode, right? So next, y in range of shape of zero, y, x in range of shape of one, and c in range of um, shape of two. Here, the same formula here is hist image y x is equal to hist image y x plus one. This is not a addition here. This is this one represents the channel. So it, it is saying that this is calculating with the help of grayscale or with the help of one channel we are calculating the image and we are trying to predict uh, we are trying to make it as a representation then next one is compute histogram as we saw here compute histogram is here so the compute histogram is nothing but histogram one and histogram two whatever the histogram one hist one is nothing but uh, the real, the original image graphical representation. This two is nothing but the brightened image graphical representation. So for that, x data is equal to for x x for x in range of zero to two fifty six, and we know that the numerical value should not, is not going to exceed more than two fifty five. So for that reason, uh, we I taken as zero to two fifty six. Then um, y data one is equal to uh, hist one of x for x in x data means hist one is represents the original image and hist two represents the um, brightened image. Then what is the next thing? So overall stuff is going to be like each and every for 
let's say uh, for he, for the original image, whatever the value that it is holding at zero comma zero position, it will start reading and it will start taking and based on that it will, it will plot on the graph. And in the same way, whatever the value that it is holding in the brightened image at the position called zero comma zero pixel, zero point zero point zero comma zero point, then that by the, at that particular point, whatever the value it is holding, that value with I mean for that value it is going to point in the graph. That's it. So based on that, we are started comparing with uh, both. I mean, both results are storing it in Y data one and Y data two. Y data one is for original image. Y data two for uh, bright and image. Here we are trying to make it as graph. Fig is equals to PLB dot figure of fig size of ten comma five. Then now we are trying to create a bar plot. Bar plot is much much easier that need to understand very easily that will understand very easily not need to understand okay so plot bar x data y data one so plot bar x data y data two x data is nothing but it will start representing from zero to 255 that's it you got it right the x x axis is going to be zero to 255 that's it i can say so based on that plot the values whatever the values that you got in y data one and y data two so original image is going to be represented in red color and the brightened image uh, the graphical representation is uh, represented as blue. Okay. Now we are already labeled for that original image and this is the enhanced. Enhanced is nothing but brightened image. So for X, X label, X axis, we are trying to provide pixel value. And so Y label, we are counting as uh, how many, uh, how, how much is the count for the pixel for the entire graph we are trying to give some kind of title and then legend is nothing but whatever the title that, that you provided over there if you use a legend then it will sh start showing the title over there on the graph then i'm asking to show that done so now i'm trying to run this program yeah so observe carefully here what it is going to ask for the first time see here for the first time it is saying the it is started printing out image data type image data type is u i n t 8 okay next it is saying enter brightness value how much how much is the brightness value that we need to provide the <coughs> the brightness value that we need to provide right now let's say i'm going to provide 150 again so whatever the example that we taken here so this is the beta value beta value is 150 beta is nothing but brightness so by brightness i'm providing 150 this is the same image let's see the expected output uh, i'm going to get in this way or not 150 i'm providing now going back here and going back to the terminal 150 enter let's wait for some time And I can say uh, for everyone, if you are not getting what I'm trying to say in the code, give it a try by yourself, guys, because I'm not going to teach the, I'm not going to explain the computer histogram function, then uh, like, like uh, uh, compare histogram function. So this stuff, I'm not going to explain the next videos. I'm going to say directly on a high level, just like in a theory part. So that's all I'm going to say now. So now here you can see this is the original image and this is the bright image. Can you see the difference here easily or not? See, after providing 150, I can able to see like uh, very clearly here, there was a tree, sky, then what is symbol, then the apartments and the map is going there and there was something over there. And I cannot see anything here, but I can see there was some man with a bicycle or something, motorcycle, and there is a fe fence here. There is a fence here, but I cannot see anything here. That's the difference between uh, that's the difference between the original image and the bright image. Let's let's understand like uh, we already discussed about the computer histogram, right? Let's do let's uh, digest these things in the graphical representation. 
uh let's see that now i'm go let's see the original image and right hand image uh histogram histogram representation all right so this is the histogram comparison right now i can say so the original image is red color one and the enhanced image is nothing but the bright end image is this one okay so by seeing this we can come to the conclusion that in our overall whatever the image that we brighten is much better than the original image right and what is the best way of uh, uh, i mean here if some if somebody is asking about the graphical representation what is the best way of, for the image then we, we need to say like uh, at least some value for each and every uh, value for each and every numerical value from 0 to 255 at least there should be some uh, graph over there so that at least in that point at least we can see at least you can see some uh, view in the image that's all i can say all right i'm going to close this then press any key to continue done that's all about the brightest brightness of the image so let's catch up in the next video uh, and in that video we are going to learn the contrast of the image that's a very short video i can i think so because i i already explained each and everything like what do you mean by the image file name and what is the image if condition brightness and data type so everything i already explained in this video if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff see the video again and then come back to the i mean we'll catch up in the next video then all right guys have a good day then. Bye-bye.